Hey Seth, it's Drowning Prevention Week. What are you seeing out on the waterways with respect to life jackets and boaters? Uh, for the most part, most boats that we stop uh, do have enough life jackets on board for each person. Uh, we are finding that people that have PFDs on board, such as the one I'm wearing, uh, they aren't wearing them, which you are actually required by law to wear your PFD. Uh, the difference between the PFD and the uh, old school life jackets, you could call it, is uh, the PFD is uh, auto inflating, so you're required actually by law to be wearing uh, your PFD. Uh, unlike a normal life jacket, you can't just have it on board with you, uh, you have to be wearing it. Uh, the difference being that this auto inflates, uh, so if it were to fall in the water, it would auto inflate and you wouldn't be able to put it on. Whereas a normal life jacket is already buoyant, uh, so you're going to float uh, with that and you're able to grab it off the top of the water if uh, the life jacket goes in without you. We're also finding that a lot of people have them on board, as I just said, but it's not readily accessible. It's often hidden under compartments uh, in an emergency situation that's not ideal. Best case scenario, just wear your life jacket at all times. That way you're ready to go in an emergency situation and you don't have to look for it.